Hello guys, hope you are doing well. I'd like to show you a small demo on raster occlusion culling that uses uh, OpenGL's shader storage buffers. And in this scene it's especially important for such a scene like this one where you got many objects. But most of them are hidden away at the back and the camera cannot see them. So what I would like is to not render those hidden fragments and save a bunch of GPU time. Right, so here I got a bunch of point cloud of a protein I got it from the uh, database. There's about 140,000 particles in the scene, where right now only about 13,000 is been rendered right now. Of course, most of all, most of them is already clipped by my uh, the camera bounding volume and also discarded by my uh, occlusion culling technique. So let me give you a perspective on what's going on here with the uh, algorithm. So here in this uh, view, I've got 2800 around there. And let me pause the uh, occlusion culling stuff so you can see here that these are all the particles that's uh, left that is uh, relevant to the camera and it's all you need to draw. And I've discarded the whole bunch at the back which is uh, necessary and uh, save lots of processing time to not process these uh, redundant fragments. And uh, let me just zoom into another perspective here there's uh, about 5,000 particles here and once again I pause the uh, calling stuff and here you can see pretty much this uh, sort of like a camera bounding volume, a perspective camera bounding stuff going on and the whole lot at the back is uh, discarded, not being processed by the fragment shader alright so right now the performance is uh, pretty pretty awesome, there's about 220 something frames here and if I don't have any sort of occlusion culling I'm gonna get about 67 which is terrible because I have to process all of this unnecessary fragments at the back which is hidden to the camera anyway and uh, you cannot see them and uh, I just disabled that testing here so you get get a sense of what's going on uh, at the back and uh, all of this redundant stuff that you have to draw so let me just turn back on the uh, occlusion culling and uh, so what you're seeing here is a bunch of spears actually they're imposters being drawn onto a quartz and um, using ray casting so we've sort of manually written out the depth information for each of the spears and passed them on to the uh, different rendering setup for uh, shading stuff and because I've done this this way you can't use the uh, graphics pipeline early Z test, early fragment test, so that you discard fragments that's already been hidden. Um, so that, which means that I have to use some sort of occlusion culling stuff. Which means I don't want to. I want to know which objects are hidden at the back, so that I can discard those objects and not even create those geometry for the objects, which I'm doing it now with uh, quartz. So this technique called uh, raster occlusion culling is uh, presented by NVIDIA, which I will give you the uh, link in the description below. So what this does is that I first create a bounding box at each of my objects, which are which is a tightly fitting bounding box at each of my sphere particles, and I pretty much have also from the last frame information the uh, quartz, or more accurately the disk of the uh, silhouette of the particles. And with this disk and bounding boxes in a scene, I just turn on early fragment test in the occlusion culling shader here. See, just a layout qualifier here. And then you just let the shader do its thing. Those bounding boxes that is visible will be written by the fragment shader into the visibility buffer, into the visibility array of the uh, shader storage buffer into S1, which, is, which means it's visible. And those bounding boxes that's uh, hidden away at the back uh, you, the shader will not know, will, will discard them because you got early fragment tests on. So, um, so it's a really neat trick to uh, do occlusion culling and it's absolutely accurate and fast. So there's another thing about whether using information from the previous frame. That means that you only, on the first pass, you do the uh, bounding box with the uh, information from a previous frame, those a bunch of quads, you do the test and in the next pass you just pretty much do your shading 
you access your shader storage buffer, this visibility array here, and you know which objects you're going to draw or not. Or you can do, um, like, in the first pass, instead of taking information from a last frame, you have to sort of um, do uh, two passes. You have to draw your scene twice. During the first draw, you have to create this, uh, this disk, this silhouette of your particles, and then also um, render them with the boundary boxes. Uh, because you want to avoid sort of this ghosting thing here, where when there's fast motion, the, the process cannot catch up with the information from the last frame. That's why there's like this uh, missing objects here, because they're not visible in the last frame. And I can show you here that I'm, I'm using the information from last frame right now and you can see when the camera moves fast you can see there's white objects, white, the white bits um, sort of like objects popping up when uh, there's fast motion and if I turn on to use the current frame there's a little bit of performance hit, not so much and you can see there's no stuff like popping up and no more white bits, you can't see a white background anymore so yeah, it's absolutely accurate, uh, better than other methods, and this is a really neat algorithm. So check it out, guys, and uh, that's it. Hope you have a good one.